Jeg tror, det sidste er bilen. Nå, no, det er det. Brind med tørken af bålet. Og uh, foto. Men der er en fjerde done. Der er en fjerde x done. Men previous done. Whatever the case may be. Og nu er det nogen Zeke's from quote unquote Matches Lane. No, you know it's actually Matthews Lane, but don't know the Iron Man who said Matches Lane. Right? A photo of him has surfaced. I mean, I've seen the photo from when it first came out, but you know, we can talk about it now. I'm also going to be talking about a little conflict that's been brewing for a while now, right? Inside of Jamaica's immigration services. I talk about this now because, you see, the authorities then come out and say, you know, if any fallout should happen when it comes down to immigration because you don't know what's going on in Haiti and in place there, oftentimes, you know, people start flooding to certain other countries. People are say, you know, everything good with the Iron Man when it comes down to immigration and the borders and everything there, so, you know, all is well, so it don't matter. But I find that interesting because, well, there is an internal conflict going on inside right of Iron Man's immigration services and it's been bubbling under the surface and it look like any minute now they're gonna explode. Now you know I don't deal with industrial relations and industrial matters but this one right here so is concerning national security right so now it's basically down my lane. So I'm gonna start off with Zeke's first and then I'm gonna tell you how I go on with immigration. So based on the context of this video, you should know one of the man them in this picture, right, is Donald Zeke Spitz, right, and at least living on that rock, you should know it's not the one in that white shirt. In this picture, you can see, right, he's giving the thumbs up to Matthew Samuda, right, who is the, I think he's a minister without portfolio, but I him mostly deal with the correction and the jail thing and them matters there. So he's often in and out of the jail them, right? I deal with certain things. So on one of these occasions, right, from what I understand, this is at Spanish Stone Prison, right? You see Zeke's and Zeke's him. Zeke's give him a thumbs up. Him give Zeke's a thumbs up. So this is a very rare picture of Zeke's, right? especially since He's been incarcerated. I mean, I imagine by now Zeke should be pretty well up there when it comes down to age because even before he went to prison, right, he wasn't exactly a teenager. But you know, looking upon this picture of Zeke and Samura giving each other the thumbs up, right, Zeke's kind of look like one of them and they were trying to sell a CD and herbs in a Ochi. When they go Ochi, right, the others have some man who are trying to sell a CD and herbs. I don't know if I'm still there on, right? But them used to always give one little thumbs up and try to talk with an American accent. Hey man, you want this man? Hey man, where you from, man? That's how Zeke's look. Like he might try to sell CD and herbs. Right. Surprisingly, right? He don't look like him in a too bad shape, right? Because before Zeke's going to prison, right? He did look like he was on his last leg, right? I don't even remember an infamous interview with him, though. Right, where his hand was resting on his head. And people are saying, no man, he look like Zeke's sick. Right, people all start diagnosing the all kind of things. Right? People are saying, no man, something wrong with Zeke's man, he now gonna make it going look so. Right, well, this picture you know with the ball head, right? it look like he's actually in fairly decent condition. Again, I don't know about him. I don't know if he's healthy or not, I'm just looking at the picture. But I remember clearly an interview with Zeke's, right, when he did that road. Right, they might talk to him and he might have him head top and he might just uh, dangle back and forth and people say no man. Right. Zeke look like he won't be around much longer. But when they are prisoner, what they say me. Then again, I remember say, his life in prison is probably less stressful than the life on the road. Right, he not have much things to worry about. Right. He not have to worry about none of them enemies them pulling up on him, suddenly shooting him. Right. He not have to worry about light bill and JPS. You don't have to worry about water bill from water commission. You don't have to worry about SSL robbing his money. Too soon? Too, is, is it too soon to crack SSL drugs? Alright, let's get back to that one then. So you don't have to worry about none of that. 
a man who at one point was so powerful in the streets that, you know, turn mile downtown and you know, them lock up Zeke's people them get mad. We want Zeke's. And then give Zeke's the microphone and Zeke's everything all right, man, go on home and people just go on home. Remember that? That moment helped to solidify Zeke's in the streets. And that's why, you know, all kind of songs get written about it. You know, Tapa Tap Zeke's and, you know, when I understand, say, as a young youth growing up in Ironman, especially a youth who have come from West Kingston, matches the and them place. Eh? When them see certain things like that, when them see the people, they must say, We want Zeke, and then they hear a hundred songs and say, Tap a tap Zeke, and then they say, Why wouldn't youths want to be a Dan? This is what I'm telling you, it's a culture, you know? right? Even though near me, they say, Yo, Badness and madness and them things, the acidity and the death and the destruction. Now remember, say, a little youth coming up would I see the people them in the street saying we want six. They've never seen people in the street saying they want Louis Bennett globally. They've never seen people in the street saying they want uh, a chant for Marco, for Marco. None of that. They simply a chant for Zeke. Right. Then them say Zeke say go on home, people go on home. Right. Now if I understand why youths are attracted to badness, when they on top of it, all in my ears, big up Zeke, big up father Zeke, big up father Dodos. Right. And then when the things say, you should go see them thing there, hear them thing there, and not think, no man, that's who me want me. Serbia talk about badness and madness. Serbia and a nerd, a nerd talk that. Right. Right. More and be like the done. But I show you this because I want you to understand that the glamorous side you want to see, the cool side you want to see, right. what them show now, what them sing about, how they make movies about. This is how it ends. Standing behind our fence. Putting up a little thumbs up. Speaking about West Kingston. It look like say badness is a family thing in West Kingston because the same Zeke, sir, him son, are one of the main uh, troublemakers them now in a matches lane. Him basically take over and follow in him father's footsteps. Isn't that crazy? Zeke's son and Dodo's son followed in their footsteps. Even though Zeke's son and Dodo's son never have to take up badness. Zeke's son and Dodo's son never had to hungry. Never want a slice of bread. Money did it. Let me tell you guys Zeke say how much millions of them find. Zeke's people are never hungry. Still end up in the badness. The culture draw them in. And them don't have the IQ or the EQ to resist. Both of them now are quote unquote run off place, have much talking at the place. Both of them been shot. Both of them fathers in a gym. We must say Zeke and other son grew up here in Jamaica and idolized them daddy you now. Right. Zeke and other son. Right. With a ear man and say, tap a tap this and tap a tap that. Right. Rating stars like the Blue Mountain. And them a boy, people that call them General. General, General. Until them start up saying and say, hold on, where about that? Where about that coming, General? Oh, what do you mean? My father did that? Oh, really? General, General, yo, are you for come? Yo, General, are you? Yo, my boss. Look a boy, you them talk them. Chest feel big. Hey, man, I can't wait for come run the thing just like my father. The culture, do you mean? Right. Who knows? Maybe the father them never even want them to go about this. But, the culture looks attractive. Right. They might get beer ratings, beer kerosene for any other than me. Right. Won't be like daddy. Zeke and the son are not starving, get a youth. But they might up on the same boat. Interestingly enough, Vivian Blake, who was the other leader in a shore posse, right. a man who right, is widely considered. The most intelligent done of them all because people throw around that word intelligence in Ironman. Once they know more than five big words and you can speak the English language eloquently, right? They now stumble over your words. People say, Oh, you're so intelligent. Right. No. People misuse that word. Vivian Blake was actually very intelligent. Even Uncle Sammy will lamp on him. Right. They were very surprised. Much brains him up. I'm not talking about just formal education. But it seemed like few kids them escaped the badness. I don't know what's happening with them. It's kinda interesting to see how oh, some of these 90 up and even 87s 
all them children, right, take up certain things. Right? Some follow in the footsteps, some go separate direction. Anyway, when we talk about the immigration problem we're going to Ireland right now. So we see recently the authorities they must say Ireland people have to deal with any kind of immigration issues that may arise from you know the the turmoil we're going in the region right now. That's interesting because at the moment there is a brewing battle going on inside Apica has evolved into an argument over national security and considering that we're talking about immigration and who we let into the country and that's something else I talk about because I'm telling this Iron Man look like say that's some kind of big free for all when all kind of man at the place and then we even say man wanted now because some place car in, in, in touch up or a seven year old and him that Iron Man live life good and I say look like say nobody now man the borders well this fallout is over the fact that Pika right, is using civilians to play a part in the processing right, of documents, especially as it relates to immigration. You know, from what I understand, they're using customer service representatives right, for do things like collect documents and you know go through it and even do interviews. Which I mean, one time I seen, I have to scratch my head that don't sound. I mean, I'm, I'm no expert, but civilians doing interviews immigration right. we don't know about that right. but i'm just a little youtuber but that don't make any sense to me right. so it turns out that the immigration officers them right then come in at the end right and stamp up things and basically finalize it so the civilian them right collect documents meet people interviews certain things and then right the immigration officers them right at the end of the process CP. And that is what is causing the main issue right now, right? Because, from what I understand, right, immigration officials should be the one doing that from start to finish. Civilians should be playing no part in that, especially carrying out interviews. But when time I see that part, I was very surprised. Right? Right, it would be great if some expert can clear that up for me. Right? CSRs, customer service representatives, carrying out interviews. And I've looked through immigration documents and things. Eh? That's crazy. Immigration papers, right? It's basically like your medical history. And anybody can look on it and touch it and go nowhere near it. Right? You can just, oh, just make sure you look through the documents and then pass to the doctor and that's how it works. Right? Only the doctor and certain nurses alone can look through certain things when it comes down to your medical history. Immigration is similar, from what I understand. I don't know if there's some new change in law, I don't know if there's some new change in the system. Where no civilians can look through that, but let me say, this is what's causing the row. The peak of Boston, I say it's fine because at the end of the process, immigration people them step in and look point and stamp it. Right? But as I say, internally, there's conflict because them as a civilians, you now they have no role in it whatsoever. From what I understand, even the security minister himself has instructed them to stop the practice and it not stop. So now, there's talk of right, a big fallout. As I say, this matter has been in the news, you know, but it's not exciting. It's not a hot story, so people overlook it. Right? But it's important. We're right talking about the country borders. I'm a type of them today talking about who we're letting the country and what go on when it comes down to immigration. I would love it if the government would just make a decision and settle this thing once and for all. Either them are going to say, listen, no civilians, they will play no role in it, right? immigration officers only, right? you go that way there, you go that way there, case done. Or, them say, this is how it is now, right? the law changed, right? the section of the law will say this will change it, right? so it stay now, move on. So the government need to be decisive on this before it gets real ugly. Right? You can't have the body that deals with immigration basically locked. In an internal war. This has to be settled before it gets to the hand. Iron Man right, needs its borders secured, especially at a time like this. We need to know exactly who are come and go. We need to make sure we say who are stay supposed to stay. Or who the left, what's the left. We need to make sure we say the right people are on the right job. And if we don't care about who come to the country and who stay, we right, know so only care about tourism. So make sure no one and go jump off and then they go here and say. No precious village one, Guinea, 
can't come to the country because all kind of chaos out of the various ports, the man. We can't talk public and say, yeah, man, immigration, good defense people have. Meanwhile, the people who control immigration are right, basically at a standard. So, this needs to be settled either way. So, let me say, go. Anyway, Agent Squad, big up on yourself. Yeah, yeah, you don't know, no life. Culture Squad, see you soon, please.